Let's continue our Osaka roundup with bouts you most likely haven't seen. Starting with these two teenage hopes, who debuted in January. Hanafusa and Wakano Sho. My oldest clip of Hanafusa is this one, in which he didn't fare too well against 2019 Hakuho Cup champion Tetsuya Ochiai, who, while we can't shout too loudly, looks set to turn pro in July. Hanafusa has improved since then, of course, to the extent of becoming coach Nishonoseki's mini-me, schooled in Kisenosato's hometown and copying his arm block. Wakano Sho, meanwhile, gave us a match for the ages on his maiden outing with Kototeba Kari, who afterwards, of course, beat Hanafusa too. Having won their first bouts in March before I arrived in Osaka, Hanafusa and Wakano Sho then crossed paths in match two. And to widespread surprise, Hanafusa's blocks beat off the zinging thrusts, causing Wakano Sho to panic and pull. Twice. To compound matters, he was then dressed down for poor Dohyo manners. As senior stablemate and idol Takakesho had warned him when they first met in 2019, pro sumo is a whole different game. Thus, it seemed Hanafusa would kick on, especially as he'd beaten Kotokenyu in January. But he was thrice stung by the right throat hold, his bent back neck blocked from supporting his left. And in match four, versus Inno Mongolian Dai Seizan, to whom he'd lost in January. He was scooped from the right, hemmed inside, and strong-armed with outside left. Not yet can a stable be built around him. But there's much for Nishonoseki to work with. A bounce-back win on day 10 was followed by this display against Tor Seiryu. in which he proved, after a trademark double armpit attack, that he can work the belt. And Hanafusa closed with an aesthetic upward-moving Tachiai, which dislodged Shishimaru in mere moments. 5-2 will easily take him to Division 5, where he should post another winning score, but likely not a big one. Give him time, as he says, to model himself on Waka Takakage. Waka no Sho, though, roared back from his Hanafusa loss and looks well capable of impressing higher up. Although worked harder than in this bout here,
He did beat Nihon Unigrad Satsuma Sho again, headbutting the forearm smash and overcoming longer reach to score heavily while his rubbery torso deflected. Takatsukasa was destroyed in the windmills of his thrusts, as was Kirinohana in a match I missed. Before 29 year old Mihono Umi simply jumped back in shock, and Kyoku Taiga who's meant to relish a thrust fest. <laughs> Quickly felt overwhelmed. Even a Saitama Sakai conditioning program could not fully prepare Wakanosho for professional life. He claims his practice bout tally has at least doubled since joining the stable. Once he does get up to speed, what a thrusting force he might be. Which is why, at the moment, I'm tipping him over Hanafusa.